All right, welcome back, everybody. My name is Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, as you probably already know. And if you're watching this, you made it. This is the end of the Swift Basics Bootcamp. And I could not have been more honored to take you guys through this. The purpose of this bootcamp was to get people who have never written a line of code or never written Swift a good introduction to writing Swift, the Swift syntax, and how to actually start writing some code. And I hope this playlist lived up to those expectations. If you're one of those people who learned to code in this video, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Um, but with that said, this playlist covered, I think, all of the basics that you need to know to start really writing Swift apps. So this playlist, uh, like way back when, at the beginning of this playlist, we started literally with the most basic things in Swift, how to look at strings and Booleans, basic data types. We then upgraded that to start writing some actual conditional logic. We looked at a bunch of operators. We learned how to write our own functions. We learned how to work with optionals, how to write if, let, and guard statements. We then took our code to the next level. We learned about object-oriented programming. We learned about structs, enums, classes, and the differences between those, which is definitely some of the hardest things to grasp when learning Swift. We wrapped up the playlist looking at things like tuples and collections, and now I think we are ready to go to really start building apps. My recommendation is to check out the Swift UI Bootcamp after this playlist. The Swift UI Bootcamp is another beginner playlist, but it's focused on the UI. So in this playlist, we didn't do any sort of UI. We didn't make a single screen. We just learned how to write Swift code. But now that you know that, you're ready to go to actually start building the UI of your app. And so the Swift UI Bootcamp is the fastest way to learn Swift UI. Again, just like this playlist, we're gonna start super basic and we're gonna build up. The only difference is that that playlist is way longer and also way more fun than this one because when you're building the UI, that's arguably the most fun part of being an iOS developer. We can literally write some code and see it on the screen in real time. And for me at least, that's a lot more fun than just writing code and having to print it to the console. So I highly recommend checking that out, but even if you don't want to, you should join our Discord. Discord channel has been blowing up recently. I'm in it. There's almost 2,000 other people in it at this point, and we're just having casual conversations on a daily basis. It is fun and exciting to talk to other Swift developers. It's a great place to ask questions or even help other people with their questions. You can post questions on your personal projects or if you have questions about any video on this channel. Anyway, whether or not you want to join, it was an honor to take you through this playlist. I would love to hear some feedback if I actually taught anybody how to code. I think that's one of the coolest things. I firmly believe that learning to code is a difficult task, but oftentimes it doesn't have to be that hard. My goal with Swiftful Thinking is to make that much more of a seamless process. The fastest way to get from knowing nothing to knowing everything, to build your own apps, to be employed, or whatever you want to do with this knowledge. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. As always, my name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.